सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड डिस्कस्ड विद द ए आर एम कोर दैट इज द आर्म कोर डेटा फ्लो मॉडल एंड वी हैव सीन द सेट ऑफ रजिस्टर फाइल्स वेयर वी हैड एटीन टोटल रजिस्टर्स अंडर दैट वी हैव सिक्सटीन एक्टिव रजिस्टर्स एंड टू टू रजिस्टर्स सच एज प्रोग्राम स्टेटस रजिस्टर्स दे आर सी पी एस आर एंड एस पी एस आर अंडर दी सी पी एस आर एंड एस पी एस आर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द करेंट प्रोग्राम स्टेटस रजिस्टर विच इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके दैट इज सी पी एस आर इन दिस लेट इज डिस्कस नाउ द आर्म कोर यूजेज द सी पी एस आर टू मॉनिटर एंड कंट्रोल द इंटरनल ऑपरेशन ओके द विच इज द इन साइड द कोर दे वुड बी देर वुड बी सम ऑफ द इंटरनल ऑपरेशन विच आर टेकिंग प्लेस दो इंटरनल ऑपरेशन आर कंट्रोल बाई दी सी पी एस आर because uh, this cpsr contains uh, some of the status flags and that would be getting updated time to time during the process of execution and the operation the cpsr is a dedicated 32 bit register okay it is a 32 bit register and resides in the register file okay it is present in the register file the following figure shows the basic layout of the general uh, generic program status register note that shaded parts are reserved for future expansion okay so this is the reserved part where uh, if the user is uh, uh, need uh, if the user wants to use this uh, these bits in uh, in between it is completely dependent on the user okay so this is the cpsr register complete 32 bit register a generic program status register okay if you observe carefully here the uh, the 31st bit up to the 28th bit are flags okay okay then this is the status part where the complete data flow will be taking place this is the extension part this is the core extension part where the arm core would be extended to the input signals provided then this is the control unit where we have some of the interrupt masks that is i and f then we have t this is the thumb state then this is the mode this is the processor mode okay in this we are having different kinds of modes that we are going to discuss in this video itself the first four flags are called as the condition flags okay so these conditional flags are very important uh, because uh, based on the condition flags the outputs would be available in the registers okay there are mainly four condition flags there are n which stands for negative then this is a zero flag this is carry flag and this is overflow flag so each of them in detail we are going to discuss now okay so this diagram you need to remember the cpsr is divided into four fields so these four fields are flags status extension and control okay the current designs the extension and status fields are reserved for future use so status and extension fields are reserved for future use the control field contains the processor mode state and interrupt mask bits okay then the flags field consists the conditional flags some arm processor cores have extra bits allocated for example the j bit which can be found in the flags field okay in the flags field one j bit would be there it is only available on jazel enable processors which is not uh, for all the processors which execute the 8 bit instruction so that's not required it is highly probable that future designs will assign extra bits for monitoring and control of new features okay now let us focus on these four flags only okay so now let us discuss with the processor modes under the cpsr okay this is very important processor modes the processor mode determines which registers are active and the access rights to the cpsr register itself each processor mode is either privileged or non privileged okay so in the processor mode we have it is divided into two categories one is privileged mode and another one is non privileged mode okay a privileged mode allows full read write access to the cpsr the read write access is completely allowed by the privileged mode whereas the non privileged mode only allows read access to the control field okay it is it is allowing the read access to the control field in the cpsr but still allows the read write access in the condition flags okay the read the read access is only to the control field in the cpsr whereas the both read write access are uh, combined in the conditional flags under non privileged mode okay so in total there are seven processor mode in which six are divided under privileged mode and one non privileged mode okay so let us discuss one by one there are six privileged mode namely abort fast interrupt request interrupt request supervisor system and undefined okay so one by one let us see the processor enters the abort mode when there is a failed attempt to access memory okay this abort mode is uh, for for uh, whenever you have any error during the execution time of the program 
during that we have one mode called as abort mode where the failed attempt is uh, used and that failed attempt is further used in the upcoming program and uh, that failed attempt would be very very essential so that's why that that uh, that is uh, fetched under the abort mode next we have fast interrupt request and interrupt request modes correspond to the two interrupt levels available on the arm processor okay the two interrupt levels next we have the supervisor mode it is the mode that the processor is in after reset and is generally the mode that an operating system kernel operates in okay it is a mode that is uh, used after reset okay if you want to, uh, if you want a program to be executed and the same program if you want to if you want to be executed multiple times then this mode is to be activated okay supervisor mode then we have system mode system mode is a special version of user mode that allows full read write access to the cpsr okay if you want the complete read write access to the cpsr and if you want the system mode to be working as the user mode so this system mode is to be activated okay then we have undefined mode it is used when the processor encounters an instruction that is undefined or not supported by the implementation okay then we have one non privileged mode and which is commonly used in the cpsr that is called as the user mode okay the user mode is used for programs and the application part of the arm core data flow okay so this is all about the processor modes now let us go to the banked registers okay the following figure that is the below we have one figure this is the complete set of banked register under the arm register set okay let us see now of these 20 registers are hidden from program at different times the total figure shows 37 registers in the register file if you count the number of registers here we have a total of 37 registers here okay bank registers these registers are called as bank registers and are identified by the shading in the diagram they are available only when the processor is in a particular mode for example abort mode has bank registers r13 abt r14 abt and spsr abt okay it is only available for the particular modes what type of mode you are using based on that the set of bank registers would be selected okay so you see here for abort mode we have these three set of modes okay bank registers of a particular mode are denoted by an underlined character post fixed to the mode mnemonic or mode okay every processor mode except user mode can change mode by writing directly to the mode bits of the cpsr okay all processor modes except system mode have a set of associated bank registers that are subset of the main 16 registers okay a bank register maps one to one onto a user mode register if you change the processor mode a bank register from the new mode will replace an existing register okay if the processor mode is changed in between the bank register from the new mode will replace the existing register okay so as i've told you right if the uh, processor is uh, processing uh, mode is changed then the complete bank register set also would be changed okay so that's why the old register which you have fetched from the other mode cannot be replaced okay for example you uh, they have given the condition here for example when the processor is in the interrupt request mode the int the instructions you execute still access registers name r13 and r14 however these registers are the bank registers r13 irq r14 ir the user mode registers r13 usr and r14 usr are not affected by the instructions referring these registers okay so the other registers bank registers won't be getting affected here that's what they are saying here a program still has normal access to the other registers from r0 to r12 so this was complete uh, the, uh, uh, flow about the bank registers so this is the diagram here for six different modes you see here for user and system mode uh, we have uh, the same uh, set of registers which is used in the uh, uh, register file the same thing that is we have r0 to r15 and the two program status registers are, those, those are cpsr and spsr so r0 to r12 are normal registers used and the three special case registers they are r13 14 and 15 where 13 consists stack pointer r14 is link register and r15 is the program counter okay then we have for fast interrupt request r8 9 10 up to 14 and spsr interrupt request consists of only two two registers and one special register supervisors two undefined two and abort two. okay so this is the complete arm register set now let us do the comparison between arm and thumb instruction okay so for arm uh, the cpsr t equal to 0 and for thumb cpsr t equal to 1 
uh, instruction size is 32 bit thumb instruction size is 16 bit core instructions 58 and uh, here it it has 30 conditional execution is most and it is uh, used only for branch instructions data processing instructions it accesses the access to the barrel shifter and alu it is used for separate barrel shifter and alu instructions direct access is in the program status register read write read write in the privilege mode and here we have no direct access register uses it uses 15 general purpose register plus the program counter here it uses 8 general purpose register plus the 7 high registers okay so this is the basic comparison between arm and thumb instructions in the cpsr so this conditional flags we'll see in the next video okay so that's all for this video guys here we have discussed with the complete arm register set complete bank registers and the processor modes and the cpsr okay so please uh, uh, do watch these videos and share it with your friends like share subscribe to our channel keep supporting okay that's all guys thank you